Hey everybody, what is up? It's Robbie. Um, I just want to apologize in advance for any loud noise you may hear in the background. They're doing some stuff next door and I'm not entirely sure what it is, but it's loud and annoying. So if you hear anything, that's probably what it is. Hopefully you can hear me over it. Um, but I digress. What I want to show y'all today is a cheap alternative to buying a V3 access port. So if you didn't know, this is a V2 access port. Um, it's for tuning your car, doing logs, but what more importantly what I'm going to talk about today is that it can only read one live piece of data at a time because the screen is so small. So the main difference between the V2 and the V3 is the larger screen. So you're able to read up to six live parameters at once instead of one. So you may be asking, you know, why Robbie wouldn't you just invest in in a v3 access port if if you know live parameter is so important to you well the reason I haven't upgraded is because they are two to three hundred dollars more expensive than the little v2 right here and you don't get that much difference besides the bigger screen yeah it can log a little faster or it can upload a map a little quicker or you can set you know you know your live rev limiter or launch controller you know whatever the hell but it, it's for three hundred dollars more it's not that worthwhile to me and what I'm going to show y'all is it's bigger than that it's not just reading live data it's also it's it's a cheap way for you to read live data on any car so it doesn't have to be ones that are compatible with the access port line you can use it on any car I plugged it into a, a Miata the other day and I was able to get a bunch of live readings that you know he wasn't able to see before so you can look at how your car is running, maybe diagnose some issues. It can even read and clear trouble codes, which is really important. So we're going to push the access port aside now that you kind of know what it does and why I have a problem with it. And I'm going to show you what I got to replace it. So this is the first piece of gadget that you're going to need. What this is, is a Android tablet. Uh, a no, an end pole more specifically. It's really cheap. It was 20 bucks on eBay. Um, the most important thing about the tablet, if you're going to do what I am suggesting, is it just needs to run Android and you're going to need to download uh, Torque Pro. Oh, God, wow. Sorry about that focusing issue right there. But anyway, it's an end pole tablet. It's really small. It's like seven inches. I didn't want a huge one because uh, it's going to look really cluttered on your dash. I mean, if you want the bigger the screen the more parameters you can show but I didn't want a super big one I wanted something to fit kind of cleanly um, and the nice part about this is is if you do hook it up to your dash or you make a little stand for it in your car you know you can download Spotify and maps and shit like that so you can essentially have like a double dim kind of thing like a little touch screen so it's kind of nice for that um, but anyway so this was a $20 tablet off eBay just needed to run Torque Pro it has to have Android the next piece you're going to need is this and this is a Bluetooth OBD2 adapter and I bought this on eBay for $20 so right here as you can see it is 40 bucks so this is 40 bucks for a bunch of live parameter settings can clear trouble codes all that stuff so a really good deal if you you know you want a way to read live parameters and you don't want to shell out for an access port or let's say they don't make an access port for your car and you want a way to read all that data well this is a solution and it's it's really it was really cheap and really easy so besides these two things which is the Bluetooth OBD and the tablet you are going to want to download an app come on called of course called Torque Pro and that's this right here so as you can see, you have a bunch of, uh, you have real-time information right there. You have fault codes, you have test results. You can get more plugins to help uh, read your car's sensors more accurately because, you know, some cars have more sensors than others and, you know, vice versa or whatever. But anyway, it's really important to download this app. It's about $5. You want to get the pro version because it's going to come up with all the bells and whistles. So, let me just show you all how this works real quick. So, we'll go put the tablet in its place first. I bought a cheap little 
magnet mounting kit from eBay for or from Wish for a dollar. Took like a month to get here, but like it was a dollar, so it wasn't that bad. So anyway, we're gonna come in, and I have a little mount right here. This is the place that uh, I found it would work best for me. So it's kind of in the middle, but like I can still see uh, my mileage and stuff, which would show up right here. So anyway, that's where it sits. So now we're gonna go grab the OBD2 adapter. And we're going to plug it into our OBD2 port. And if you don't know where that is, I'd look at your manual. But for speed threes, they are right here by this little like coin tray thing. All right, but anyway, you can see that the little light came on, which is good. It means that uh, it is getting power, just like your regular access port. So now we're gonna come in and we are going to start the car. And basically this is just to show you guys that it does work and it's not bullshit kind of thing. I'm not gonna like drive around or anything like that. But as you can see, my car is on and we're going to go into real time information. And you can see that Look at all this live data right here. So, sorry about the blur, little keychain thing. We have revs, we even got boost. We have our acceleration, which is like throttle position. We have our speed, we have our fuel rail. We got throttle response, coolant, and vacuum, which is boost, it's just not set to the right thing. But anyway, look at all this live data right here. A bunch of it, which is super duper nice. So. If you want all this data, you don't have to get a V3. You can just get a V2 to load and log maps, and then you can buy a, a $20 tablet and a $20 OBD2 port and uh, read a bunch of data. I will say though that um, this one was a cheap, it's a cheap China one, I'm not gonna lie. It was 20 bucks, it's not the best. Um, I think if you buy an OBD, Lynx MX, I think it's what it's called. I can't remember correctly, but it's a more top of the line reader. And they're around 50 to to $100, but it's worth it because you'll be able to read more parameters, more important parameters, such as measured AFR and knock, which is something you really want. So just to warn you guys, if you buy the cheap China knockoffs, you'll be able to read data, but you won't be able to read certain other sensors like knock. But, um, Overall, I think for $40, it's fucking worth it. Like, it's pretty cool. It's pretty awesome that for $40, you can get a bunch of live readings from your car without having to buy a super expensive product like an access port. So, I mean, if my recommendation would be to buy a $250 V2 access port and shell out $40 to $50 on a tablet, a Bluetooth reader, and the Torque Pro app, and boom. And even if y'all have a car that can't run an access port, well, you can do this and you can look at all your live data, which is really nice, especially if you go racing or you just want to see if there's something wrong. So basically, guys, that's pretty much what I wanted to show y'all. I think it's for $40, it's awesome. And if you have $40 laying around and you're really into your car and you're really into making sure it's running correctly, I would, I would go ahead and get one. But uh, anyway, that's it, guys. Hope you all enjoy the video, and I'll uh, see you all later.